Noah's theorem is one of the most beautiful concepts in physics. Basically, the theorem is saying that if a system has continuous symmetry, then there is a corresponding quantity whose values are conserved over a period of time. This is easier to understand than you think, because symmetry is based on geometry and comes in simple forms. We have line symmetry or mirror symmetry, and we also have rotational symmetry. There is also translational symmetry that is not so easy to visualize. Translational symmetries basically means that if the properties of a system are parallel as they move or transfer from one place to another in three-dimensional space, their linear momentum will also remain the same. In a closed system or reference frame that is isolated from external fields or external forces like gravity that would break the symmetry, the momentum is conserved and it will carry on at the same speed in the same direction forever. On the other hand, say there is a large planet nearby. As an object gets closer, there is a difference in gravitational potential energy and the symmetry is broken and there is no translational symmetry. If we take a man skydiving, momentum is not conserved for an object that gains speed as it falls Therefore, there is no translational symmetry. Up is totally different from down because of the gravitational potential. But the energy and the momentum is conserved for the system as a whole. We choose the system or reference frame and momentum can always be conserved by extending the system out beyond the potential energy. This is totally amazing and shows the unity of physics that I believe represents the oneness of a universal geometrical process. Rotational symmetry is easier to visualize. Consider an object orbiting in a circular orbit around a star. The object maintains an equal distance from the star it is orbiting and therefore does not encounter any gravitational potential difference along its path. Such a system has rotational symmetry with the object's angular momentum being conserved. The elliptical orbits of our solar system are perfect examples of when this symmetry is broken with planetary speed and angular momentum that varies relative to their distance from the Sun. As the planet moves along its path it sweeps out an equal area segment in an equal time. So the symmetry is based on geometry. There is a form of geometrical symmetry, but the symmetry is broken by the shape of the elliptical orbit. If the planets of our solar system had circular orbits, there would be no variation in speed and we would have perfect symmetry in movement, space and time, with angular momentum remaining the same. We also have translational symmetry in time. If we take a system doing something, say a harmonic oscillator, at a particular moment, and then we compare it to the same system at some later time. If it has the same energy, therefore it is constant, it is time translation symmetric. The property that is conserved is the energy. This seems very circular, and it even seems that there is something missing in our understanding. So far this video has been based on mainstream physics, but now I am going to give an explanation of Noah's theorem within an artist's theory on the physics of time as a physical process. Noah's theorem is amazing because it is not just beautiful, it is also useful. What the theorem says is that if we find a symmetry in nature, there must also be a corresponding conserved quantity somewhere. And we can also use the theorem backwards as well. If we find something has been conserved, we know that there must be some underlying symmetry that caused the conservation.
If we look down into the atoms, we find the greatest conservation of them all, with matter-antimatter annihilation, with 100% energy exchange. Energy is 100% conserved, and Noah's theorem links energy conservation with time symmetry. In this theory, this is because matter-antimatter annihilation represents part of a universal geometrical process of energy exchange that forms the continuum of time. In such a theory, the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time itself, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. We have an uncertain future unfolding photon by photon with each new photon oscillation or vibration relative to the atoms of the periodic table with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. At the most fundamental level this is a process of symmetry forming and breaking that forms the entropy or the disorganization of everyday life. It also forms the potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the diversity of cell life. The main effect this process of energy exchange has on us is the aging process with everything continuously changing. In this theory intelligent life forms its own timeline or evolutionary path as an integral part of this process. Noah's theorem predicts that if this is true there should be a continuous symmetry to the energy exchange that does not change over time. In this theory this is represented by the line symmetry or left and right handedness that all intelligent life has with creation being in the hand and the eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.